and help the Vietnamese people remove unexploded ordnance from the paddies, rice paddies in the villages that are still there, still killing people 50 years later. Unexploded ordnance, a ballad for Chuck Searcy. So I was maybe all of 21 when they whipped me into some kind of soulless shape. Yet another one of America's weeping mother's sons sent forth into this world to raise, pillage, and rape. And now it's coming on to another Christmas Eve and songs of joy and peace fill up our little town. How, I ask myself, could I possibly believe I could do what I did and not reap what I had sown? In that land far away from what I call home, a grandfather leads a granddaughter by the hand into a, into a field where we did what had to be done. They trip into a searing heat brighter than a thousand suns. I write that as a grandfather now, uh, and, and uh, I have tremendous remorse for what I did and what I was involved in. Um, this next poem is entitled, The Girl in the Picture. And if you lived it through that period of time called the Vietnam War, I think making that reference to the girl in the picture comes immediately to mind, the iconic photograph of young Kim running from her village, nine years old, being napalmed, naked, screaming the torture in her eyes. This is a poem entitled The Girl in the Picture for Phan Thi Kim Phuc. It begins with a traditional Buddhist statement, whatever you run from becomes your shadow. Whatever you run from becomes your shadow. If you're a non-vet, a survivor of sorts, she'll come for you across the decades, casting a shadow in the dying light of your dreams, naked and nine, terror in her eyes. Of course you will have to ignore her if you wish to survive over the years. But then your daughters will turn nine, and then your granddaughters nine, and the shadows lengthen. So you'll have no choice on that one night screaming down the ridge road, lights off, under a full moon. She's standing in the middle of the road, still naked and nine, terror in her eyes. Now you must stop to pick her up, to carry her back home to where she came from to that gentle village where the forgiving and the forgiven gather at high noon. There are no shadows. Thank you.